Rita. We're a music-driven theatre collective from Manchester. Um, we're an unusual team, a visual artist, two musicians and drum tag. Sister is a show about a brother and a sister who live on opposite sides of the world and the show generally centres around their, their unique relationship to their family home. As part of our collective, it's very important to us to bring in the, the visual elements and the musical elements um, in right from the start um, because it helps us shape the, the story itself. Originally, Tom Luca and I came together on What Happened to Agnes, our first show. Um, and then after doing that show and finding that we enjoyed working together so much, we also realised like what we could do better or do differently. Um, and that was part of bringing Ellen in really early in the process, knowing that we wanted to have sort of that dramaturgical guidance and that voice in from the beginning. We, we kind of came into the residency with a skeletal script, kind of like bits of dialogue, bullet points, ideas about where we thought it would go and, and kind of an arc for a, a first act. Um, and then we've been, been asking Eva and Matthew, who are the actors in the, in the show, to improv a lot of stuff and to kind of use that as a, um, as a, as a jumping off point. I always thought of myself as a wanderer, someone who chose to be free. Maybe the distance chose me I find I'm remembering textures of home So why'd I come 10,000 miles on my own? And we came with ideas for songs, we came with, well Tom came with some like thematic ideas musically as well and Luca came with some concepts visually but like I think being here this week Lucas like mm. sketched and we've played with how the songs might bleed into text and, and like how music might work on just sort of some of the spoken bits and things and things we weren't sure if they were going to work and some worked really well and other things we thought you know we might need to re-imagine. Mm. We've got a long way to go I think. Yeah. Which is exciting. You know all of us as individuals like how to make it work in theatre not just be like an artist and two musicians doing something on a stage like what, how do we change enough to become, it all becomes very fluid, but it's quite uniquely Ulita. You know, we're still forging that, which is exciting, so. And I think that's the amazing thing about coming here, is that like yeah. we've got Ellen here and we've got yeah. the actors here, and really it's the first time, well, it's the first time we've all been in a room together ever, um, yeah. all at once. Yeah, but that's like, true. You know, it's just amazing to be able to see what that looks like and explore it. To be in a room with, artists from totally different disciplines has just been like really eye-opening and really exciting. It's interesting to see like, I guess in theatre traditionally the way things are done is music and the visuals and stuff serve what you create that all makes sense dramaturgically and it's like perfectly formed. Whereas it's interesting here for me and Luca to like throw spanners in the works and be like, oh I know the conversation is tight if that bit of point stops there, but like it should carry on for these, like for these for reasons. For these thematic reasons, of, or yeah, yeah, what we're yeah. picturing in the visuals and stuff. Which is nice, actually, because like restraints make you have to be more creative, don't they? In a way, mm. so it's nice to kind of have that. Everyone being having such different perspectives means you really have to think about what you're doing and what the purpose of what you're doing is. Matthew, uh, who's playing the brother, we improvised a scene where he's having a panic attack, where he's reading a bit of spoken word that Luca wrote, and he doesn't come from like a musical improvisation background so he hasn't heard the same records that I have where it's freely improvised piano and spoken word or whatever so it was like so interesting doing that with him and he has such a different take on the pacing of it and how everything goes that's just been amazing to do basically. So we've got a brother and a sister and the sister is in Australia and the brother's in Stockport which is where they grew up and the brother is preparing for an exhibition so we kind of jump into the middle of, of like a relationship that's quite complicated and, and has a long backstory. It's kind of about the nuances of that relationship and how it shifts and changes and how the, the like emotional dynamic and power dynamic shifts between them. We're not, exa we're not calling it a musical, but it's, music is very like fundamental to it as is the visual world. Um, and there are songs, but not in the way that you might expect them to come out in a, in, a, in a more traditional way. And musical. I follow it down like I'm walking a tightrope Like I slowly lower myself to the ground 
and this small, small patch of the earth. We want to make it so that every time the scene changes, um, there is a signal by which we change the painting that is um, at the forefront of, of the stage. We're playing with those ideas that each scene is sort of punctuated by that. The actual, the actual themes, I guess, visual themes, is how to represent distance um, in a small space. So that's something that we're playing with. We've got quite a few things to explore technically as well in terms yeah. of like the, the way in which the brother and sister communicate over that long distance is currently a mixture of phone conversations, voice memos and text messages. So I don't know whether projection is like where we'd start but we want to explore like how we differentiate those three forms of communication um, and how best to present that to an audience as well. And the small, small sense of you next to me Breath on my cheek and your hand in mine.